we are here in Sydney. It's been a really long day. We've been shopping and everything else and we've come back to the hotel and we're just about to get ready to go out again. But I thought I'd quickly show you guys the room. Um, it's a two bedroom apartment. We are staying at the Star. I love the kitchen. Um, and then there's a huge bench with all our stuff on it. So ignore all that. Then there's a living room. And you need to check out this view. We step out, you can sort of see. There is the harbour view. It is really beautiful. We actually normally, we normally stay around the corner here and we sort of get a full view of the water. Um, but you know, we're not staying all that much in the room these days, so it's kind of cool that we're just uh, being able to get away for a few days. I've just noticed there's a pool behind me as well. I'm not going to zoom in, but how cool is that? It's not super hot at the moment either. It's a little bit cool, very breezy. You can probably tell my hair's kind of flying everywhere. Um, but I'll give you a look at my outfit for a little bit of an outfit of the day. I know you guys like my outfit combos and my styling kind of videos. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of that for this video, but we'll see. I'm just wearing a very basic outfit. These leggings are from Shein um, in the gingham pattern. I'm actually really loving this pattern at the moment. I didn't put the camera on over the angle, so I'm kind of bending down. But you can kind of see my basic outfit yeah and i take this every time i come here is the master suite it's got a huge super king um, bed which is amazing big tv um, the window that has the harbor view the same view as before which is amazing and then there is the ensuite Excuse my bag. There's a little Carrie Bradshaw wardrobe on this side. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then a kind of a galley style bathroom. So the showers, it's actually double showers on the left. And then a vanity on the right. Um, lighting in here is really bad. So I always like to do my makeup next to the window. But now I'm just going to unpack, get settled, get organized. I need to do a little bit of work as well before we head out. I went into the MS store and I picked up something from MS. So it was actually the very first time that I've actually been in store and um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really fun experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go back on what I've said. I don't believe in their silly games and all that type of business. But um, I did like a couple of their pieces and I've been really wanting a certain item from there as well as making my wish list, etc. Um, so if you guys are wanting to see bags, unfortunately I didn't get any bags, but the week is still young. Um, but I will go through the items that I got with you now. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I actually have a new lipstick that was given to me by my mother. She actually bought the wrong shade and she was like, oh, do you want this? And I'm like, oh my God, I love it. Um, it's this gorgeous, it looks more pinky on screen, but it's actually very orange. Um, it's sort of like an orange balm. It's a lipstick from Chanel called Rouge Coco Flash. This is what it looks like. It's tiny guys, I have to say. It's not a normal size lipstick. The lipstick might be normal size. The lipstick looks kind of normal size, but the casing is tiny. So you can sort of see, it looks like that. Um, the color is 114 Rouge Coco Flash. And my mother wears another color, 114, and but it's not flash, it's something else. But when you see the color, now don't mind, I've already swiped it, so that's why it's dirty. But you can kind of see that it's this gorgeous, kind of orangey, 
orangey color it looks a lot stronger in the lipstick case than it does on the lips i've actually put quite a few layers it might be like four or five layers to get this look but anyway loving that um i thought it was fitting seeing as i was going to unbox a couple of orange boxes with you guys the first one i'm going to unbox is this one and you guys probably know what this is um I've always wanted an MS scarf and the box has got beautiful packaging. No MS on the tissue, which is kind of strange. Um, and that's sort of what you can see there. So it's a pink scarf and I really was trying to get like the old equestrian style scarves, but sort of see that's it there I'm trying to keep it away from my face so that I don't mark it but you can see it's got these gorgeous like blue straps like denim straps um, which I'm really enjoying just kind of zooming around the print um, I don't like to think about it too hard because I kind of just want the garment to speak for itself um but let's put it on i've always wanted an ms scarf this one was 995 i think so just under a thousand and i kind of think to myself it is a ridiculous amount for a scarf do not get me wrong um and normally i would never pay for anything like this but this is kind of a bit of a one-off occasion and for those of you that are in my life you'll know why kind of had some life-changing moments and thought you know what I'm just gonna live it up um, so that's a scarf it's kind of pinky tones I wear a lot of pinks and I wear a lot of colors that complement pink you know greens um, browns navy and I kind of feel like it all kind of works so yeah <clears throat> you can also wear red with this one but that's the scarf I've always sort of wanted to own an MS scarf and I thought I'm just gonna just gonna bite the bullet it is a hundred percent silk like they all are and I have to be honest it feels a lot thicker than I kind of imagined I imagined it to be really silky and thin and kind of super delicate but it's not it's kind of as stiff as satin if that makes sense so that was purchase number one and then the second purchase which i am super excited about is something in this little box um and i i knew when i was walking into the store that i wanted to walk out with something like this so oh it comes in a little pouch as well well, that's gorgeous. I'm going to come in close, guys, because the item is quite small. Um, but it comes in a little travel case. Oh, my God. It's the Click Clack bracelet from Hermes. I actually thought <clears throat> that the Click Clack motion was just open and closed, but it's actually... You've got to press it in together, then twist, and then it opens. I kind of assumed it was a different lock system, but this lock system is actually very secure. Um, but I have to be honest, I'm going to take the plastic off. A plastic film right here. Ta-da! So, that is off, and I'm just going to open it and I'm going to put it on for you guys so you guys can see um, I don't know what size this one is but it's a perfect fit I didn't want it to be too loose and jingly because I find those type of bracelets super annoying so this one is just really um, simple but I absolutely love the colour what do you guys think? beautiful I was actually also um, if you didn't notice it's actually in 
yellow gold and I don't wear a lot of yellow gold but I do have a red bag with gold on it and I sort of thought to myself this red color which I love so much it looks the best in this gold combo so I was like you know what who cares I'm just gonna wear it and love it and so there you go now they were basically my two purchases. Um, however, I did get a few samples in the pack, which I am so excited about because I saw a lot of um, stuff when I was at Emma's. I actually looked in every single section, detailed look in every single section because um, I really, I know that I can't go there very often because I don't live in the same city. So I was really trying to make the most of being there. So I was smelling a lot of fragrances. Anyway, so the sales associate gave me one of these, which is the Hermes Paris um, Rose Icabana, Icabana. Um, and it smells very rose-esque, but in a very soft way, in a very fresh way. Usually I don't like rose scents because they kind of smell like old ladies. I have sprayed it here. Um, on my skin and on my top because I find that the fragrance changes on my skin so I don't like spraying on my skin it kind of distorts all fragrances so she's given me this which I'm really gonna try and if I love it I'm gonna buy it um, so yes it smells very it smells rose but in a fresh young way it doesn't smell rose in an old lady way which I really like and then I she also gave me Twilly um, Emma's. Uh, it's Twilly. I don't know which one it is, but it just says Twilly. And Twilly has like three, um, three fragrances. This one might be called just DMS. Um, but this one is a lot stronger. This one's a lot more potent, poison esque. Very, you know, um, that fragrance poison. But I can't remember who. Um, that smells like that. So that's probably not me, but the other one is definitely me. So I've got a couple of those. And then I also got the cutest little packet. It's got a little Hermes at the back. And this has got two lipsticks in it, which I am dying to try. I always like trying. Um, a lot of people don't use these. Like my mother was saying, she doesn't use these samples. I always use them. And if they're good, then I go buy the real thing. Especially the perfume, I, I stick those in my travel case. So whenever I'm traveling somewhere, I've got a range of huge perfumes and I don't have to carry like a massive bottle. I'll still carry maybe my favorite fragrance and I'll carry a big bottle of that. But um, to try and sort of change up my fragrance in my trip, whenever I'm on holiday, I go through, you know, my, my little samples. So these are satin lipsticks and matte lipsticks. I've got a satin in this nude color um, and this is in the color 13 I think 13 beige Kalahari really bad at pronouncing but it's this beautiful kind of nude color which I think might work really well on my skin tone either it will work really well or it will look like I'm not wearing anything and then this one which I would really love to try and it's a matte lipstick in Rouge Bleu, uh, 68. And it's kind of a red, um, but it's, yeah, it's a strong red, I'd say, with a tinge of pink, a tinge of pink. All right, and then I've got another color, which is in the matte lipstick in a beige natural, which is just that color there. This one's quite light for me so I would have to have lined lips or use another color and use this as a topper which I can possibly do if I use the other color the nude color this is the nude color that I showed before if I use this one and then topped it with this one it'd probably be okay um, and then the other color was rose rose Dakar and it's uh, number 59 satin so it's a satin this is more of a deep sort of raspberry pinky red and to compare it to the other one that I received, you can sort of see. This one's a little bit darker, 
but four really amazing shades that I would probably use. So dying to try them out. And that is it. So a little mini unboxing. I do not know if I'll be offered a bag. I did create a wish list, um, which I kind of put a million things on the wish list, but I kind of had, you know, um, a couple of options and I, I don't know if I'll ever be contacted. Um, we will see if I get offered a bag. I would love to have one in my lifetime, you know, an authentic um, Hermes uh, Birkin probably in my lifetime and I'd probably like to have a mini Kelly but we will see. Um, I'm not going to bank on it. I know they're really hard bags to get a hold of but um, you know I had fun. I had fun in the boutique. I know that not everyone is in the position to be able to purchase something like this so this is um, a very special um, opportunity and a very special experience. I don't plan to do this very often but anyway. Um, so now we have already had dinner and we had a really early dinner today because we were running around all day and basically starving really early. So we've eaten and we're just going to freshen up and maybe head down and walk around a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to definitely wear my new bracelet. I wonder if I've bought the size too small. I just, there was a larger size, there was only two sizes and the larger size was very large, very big. And I was like, I don't really want it clanging around. So I think, I think this is good. This is gonna be out of the way. And I was actually kind of planning on getting a white with rose gold or another one in rose gold. Please tell me if I should get it. I just think I would just love these. I feel like I need, not a neutral, but something that I can wear nearly every day. Now the lighting is kind of going in the window, so you can't sort of see it properly. It's this orangey red, um, red, so it's not a full dark red, which I really love, with the gold hardware. I don't know what I'm going to wear tonight, but I have to get changed or freshen up or something. Um, and then we can head out. Ah, oh, morning guys. It is bright. I'm right next to the window and I've just woken up and had a shower. Gotten ready. We have to get ready for our yacht um, cruise ride today. We're going for lunch on the yacht, my very first time. Um, I am just about to put on my makeup and I thought I'd put on my makeup with you guys. So I'm just going to put on some under eye. I have the smallest mirror. I always forget to bring a big mirror in case, well, I always like to do my makeup next to the window and there's never a mirror there. So, because at the moment I'm doing my makeup on this mirror here. It's not too bad. It's actually a really big mirror for the fact that the compact is so small. Um, but when I've stepped back like this, it's a little bit difficult. First thing I'm going with is my CC cream. You guys know I don't really wear foundation because it doesn't work with my skin type. I have quite oily skin. Combination skin, actually. Sometimes it's really dry, sometimes it's oily. And... It just drips off by the end of the day, foundation, so that's why I don't use it. Um, but I find also that when I do use foundation, I get probably two or three hours of good wear and then it turns terrible. Uh, it also looks quite cakey on my skin, <clears throat> so Excuse my croaky throat. This is me before I have a coffee in the morning. Um, but yeah, it goes cakey and I find I've experimented with so many different products and I find that using <clears throat> a combination, a combination of my CC cream and my BB cream gives me a really nice 
um, natural looking finish without it looking cakey. So that was the CC cream. Now I'm going in <clears throat> with the BB cream. So this is my full outfit. I'm just wearing this fun skirt um, for the boat. Some comfortable heels, shorter heels in a clear, just a basic white shirt. I've got my click clack bracelet on, which you can barely see in this light. Um, and my Louis Vuitton cappuccines in the raffia. Thought this was a very relaxed boating outfit. So yes, and my makeup, which you can't really see in this light. Hopefully you'll see it outside. I put on some um, red lips, orangey red lips, just for a bit of pop of colour. And we're going to go and head down, head maybe head down or head up for breakfast. So, yeah. You'll get a much better look during the day, hopefully. Sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that kind of potion. Just my kind of heat, keep it on repeat. Tested by the potion, love it, this the potion. Well, we are back from the boat cruise and it was beautiful. I never experienced anything like that. It was just really peaceful and lovely and the food was great. They really did a really great job. Um, we're now just having a little bit of a rest and I am going to um, basically just chill out and we might go for a little walk later and we don't really have any plans. So we'll see, another few more days. It's another day and we're heading out to breakfast. Um, I That mirror is really dull, so I can't sort of show you my outfit there, but I will put this up somewhere. I'm wearing this purple shirt dress. I got this from Shein. Um, can't sort of see my full outfit, but I will try. Got my Versace bag today white one very first time i'm taking this one out um and i was actually in the store yesterday and they was doing they had this hooked up in a really like through the handle so i'm going to do that too so it's not dangling so much um but yeah i had to put some black tights on today because we're going to be walking around and shopping and i thought i'd be too uncomfortable and i've just got some very basic slip-on sandals 
Um, it's kind of what I like to wear when I'm shopping around around town and running errands and things like that because especially in summer it just gets a bit hot and sometimes you know trainers don't go with everything so there you go we're gonna head to breakfast and then we are going to do a bit of shopping packed and ready to go it's our last day last morning so all packed and ready here is my damage I really didn't buy all that much but a little bag there and a big bag from Uniqlo um, all packed and ready we're gonna have some breakfast so we've had a couple of days here in Sydney and now we're about to travel back um, in the car so I'm just wearing something really comfortable and casual got my pink on today my runners and we're ready to go. We are saying goodbye for our little trip. We always do these trips, my mother and I, so it was really fun. We went to a lot of shops. We did a little bit of punting, um, but now it's time to go home. And I have to say, I am absolutely exhausted. Excuse the mask, it is high COVID zone around here so I am doing my very best to be careful and I just cross my fingers and hope that I've done enough so um, I will sign out now guys I hope you enjoyed this trip 